Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com. Out here for a first look. It's something I'm pretty excited about getting in from Rifle Dynamics and friends over at Spiritus Systems. We'll go ahead and start with Spiritus Systems. Friends over there ended up sending out some stuff that haven't had an opportunity to try. So what do we got in here? One, we have this guy, which is I believe their thing. Can't remember if this is thing one or two. And basically it allows you to attach more things than just like their microfight chest rig to include radios, things like that. And yeah, pretty interesting. I am not gonna be using it at this upcoming course. Tell you more about that in a minute, but I'll use it at the following upcoming course. And then I already started putting this guy together a little bit. And this is their Microfight chest rig, their newest version, I think like their Mark V chassis basically. And so across the front, we have PALS loops, so you can attach whatever you want. And it's also Velcro, so if you use this on a cummerbund, you can attach a cummerbund straight to it, but then all the other modularity. So by way of example, this has their SAC, subabdominal, whatever the C stands for, can't remember, carrier probably. And uh, allows you to put that on there. So I'll probably end up, probably run some med stuff in there. And then of course, inside here, you can put whatever you want. I have this three mag shingle insert that's for what I'm doing. I'll probably go ahead and put in here. Should do a good job. Not super caliber specific, like it's literally elastic cells. So got that guy on here. And then their wider harness. I think they make a thinner one too. And yeah, I have this guy set up as I mentioned already, but other things, small GP pouch, pretty handy, probably especially on the thing. And then, oh yeah. So the deal with the Mark V moving away from the previous versions of the Microfight chest rig is talking with those guys, a lot of people kind of weren't using that front pouch. And so this gives you the option to, like I said, not use it. Or if you do want to use it, you can, of course, put this on there. So PALS compatible, throw that guy on there. And now you have kind of an earlier version of the Microfight chest rig with zippered enclosures too. Because I think a lot of the feedback they got was, hey, if I want to put something in here, I just as soon zipper it closed. Or if you want to put other mags in there, of course, then you can just put mag pouches straight on that. So pretty clever. And then GP pouch, also the JSTA pouch. Might play with that on uh, the side of that too. So I don't know, we'll see, but definitely gonna end up using this here in a minute. And now we'll jump into this guy. If you've been following along with my content, you know, I ended up going down to Rifle Dynamics and ended up actually building out a pretty sweet gun. It's their quick hatch and incredible experience down there, like literally building the gun, smashing rivets, all that stuff. And AKs, something I've spent time with in the past, like overseas, but never owned one. And so, the opportunity to actually go build my own, pretty huge. And Titus, one of the gunsmiths that I built it with, he does incredible paint jobs. So he's like, what do you want on here? And I'm like, I'm a pretty big fan of like World War II frog skin, because I think it's cool in part, like Marine Corps heritage. And uh, I was like, yeah, maybe something like that, but you do you. And he's like, okay, cool. And he ended up texting me at one point and he's like, hey, how do you feel about a little, little bit of color? I'm like, do your thing, man. Like, incredible artist, do your thing. So he ended up actually sending me like a sneak peek. And I was like, that's incredible. Cannot wait to get my hands on it. And so, yeah, after they, after you basically build it in the build class, they then go back through, sandblast everything, parts kit, so you have like some surface rust and stuff like that. And then eventually they 
basically end up painting it. Kind of whatever you want. They have a bunch of standard stuff and then they can do amazing custom stuff as well. And so this is part of the amazing custom stuff. It's bubble wrap. All right, Man, I'm stoked on this thing. Yeah, I, I saw a little sneak peek and I'm like, that's pretty incredible. So I'll pick that up later. Boom. My quick hatch. This thing is incredible. I will absolutely show you some close-ups. Man, he knocked out of the park on this. He even does some pretty cool stuff as far as just hiding stuff. So like inside this camouflage pattern too, like there's actually the Kit Badger logo on there. They laser engraved it. This is incredible. I'm super stoked. Yeah, I will show you some so you some shots of this because incredible work of art. And then I'm gonna jam up to Max. Behind me is the Rune Nation Cold Start. And I get some mags jammed up and see how this guy does. Actually more, see how I do. Also, how do you turn the coolest pistol into the coolest rifle? By adding probably the coolest stock which he also ended up painting for me. So I'm about to, through the magic of FFLSOT, turn this pistol into a rifle. Got my mags loaded up, two of eight, and then a full one, more or less. And why shoot unsuppressed when you don't have to, like a savage. So thread this guy on here. This is my trash panda I made. And yeah, other strong side, continuing that journey. See what we get. All right, we'll do this thing live. So you like what I'm going to click. Oh my gosh, that was so close right there. Twenty-seven, thirteen, so close. I actually was, I was doing so good for a minute. To be honest, I started off amazing. First shot, got my three. Second low probability, got my three. Conducted my reload, bam, got that. And then I shanked one, or maybe it was after I shanked this. <sighs> Either way, dropped one out of there, and then I dropped one here, came back, Dropped the second one and then made it up. But this thing's awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing zeroed and do a little more shooting. So funny story, kind of. I'm like, mm, I think I'm gonna adjust the gas on this because it has adjustable gas block. And I'm like, ah, I'm having a hard time getting it. So found some rags so I could grab it, kind of hot after those rounds. And that happened, unfortunately. Totally my fault. I forgot to ask Titus if he rock set that muzzle device, which he didn't. It now needs to be rock set so I can get this can off of it. But prepare for contingencies. I have one of these, which I'll tell you right now. Q will not warranty if you blow your can up. 
and I fortunately have an extra can. So through this guy on here, obviously not with rock set by Reardon Manufacturing, I believe it is. And even if it comes off, there's flats. So I can still take it off of the can because yeah, tapers and then threads lock up really tight. Now on to zeroing this thing. Got this thing zeroed at 25 yards. I now have two different pieces of steel out there, so let's just do some shooting now. This thing, it's pretty cool. Can't cheat. I am super stoked on this gun. On the one hand, I actually got to go and build it at Rifle Dynamics at one of their build classes and incredible experience. Like I made this thing, like press these rivets in. So cool, such a cool experience. And then on top of that, like also it's a quick hatch, which is rad, especially with the Q fix stock on here and yeah like a legit nine inch 762 by 39 and you can adjust the gas on here i'll probably do a little tweaking on and stuff but this thing is amazing also this rail is a basically a collaboration between rifle dynamics and occam defense both big in the ak space and actually like improving the platform i would say to that end, you can mount things on it, like a lot of things. So by way of example, I'm actually gonna take this gun in a couple days from now as of filming this, and I'm actually going to set up a laser, illuminator, and go shoot this in a night vision course, which is gonna be pretty epic. So excited to do that. And it'll give me an opportunity to run this more. I'm liking it again just straight out the gate. It's nice because you make it do whatever you want it to do. So rather than being stuck with certain inserts or the older, like I think I have a Mark III uh, Microfight chassis where it has a pouch on the front, which is cool if you want a pouch on the front, but if you don't, and you don't have to have it. And yeah, just the ability to go through and scale for whatever your needs are. But as I put in more time with this rad gun and this gear and stuff, I'll eventually bring you guys full reviews. But yeah, pretty stoked on this one. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.